Before we start, click the like button, subscribe to Fact Feast, and share this video on social media. Vitellius Vitellius was Roman Emperor for only eight months from 16th of April to 22nd of December 69 AD. Vitellius was proclaimed Emperor following the quick succession of the previous Emperors Galba and Otto in a year of civil war known as the Year of the Four Emperors. At the end of 68 AD, Galba selected him to command the army of Germania Inferior. And here, Vitellius made himself popular with his soldiers by outrageous extravagance and excessive good nature, which soon proved fatal to order and discipline. He owed his elevation to the throne to the commanders of the two legions on the Rhine and his armies marched on Rome to confront Otto, who had replaced Galba. He was never acknowledged as emperor by the entire Roman world, though at Rome the Senate accepted him and decreed to him the usual imperial honours. He advanced into Italy at the head of an immoral and rough soldiery, and Rome became the scene of riot and massacre gladiatorial shows and extravagant feasting. To reward his victorious legionaries, Vitellius disbanded the existing Praetorian Guard and installed his own men instead. The historian Suetonius, whose father had fought for Otto, gives an unfavourable account of Vitellius's brief administration. He describes him as unambitious and notes that Vitellius showed indications of a desire to govern wisely, but that he was encouraged in a course of vicious excesses. Vitellius is described as lazy and self-indulgent, fond of eating and drinking, and an obese glutton with a huge belly, eating banquets four times a day and feasting on rare foods he would send the Roman navy to obtain. For these banquets he had himself invited over to a different noble's house for each one. He is even reported to have starved his own mother to death to fulfil a prophecy that he would rule longer if his mother died first. In July 69 AD, Vitellius learned that his support was weakening and the armies of the eastern provinces had proclaimed a rival emperor, their commander Vespasian. Despite a willingness to abdicate his throne, he was thrown into the river Tiber. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a like, subscribe and share with your friends on social media.